Uh, hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Daily Crypto News. And yes guys, we're doing a massive 2 thousand xrp giveaway and if you want to enter that's actually very simple because all you have to do is make sure you press the like button make sure you are subscribed and make sure you comment something down below just those three simple steps will enter you into this 2000 xrp giveaway it is pretty damn insane the like requirement is put in the description below Having said that though guys, today I want to talk a little bit more about how much XRP you're going to be needing. This is not financial advice, but purely my own insight into some topic, not advising you on anything. But uh, still, this is what I would think, you know, just personally. Not financial advice though, just to have that disclaimer out there. Now, the reason I want to talk about this is partially because I've been hearing a lot of people ask this question to each other and with different amounts of... I guess XRP coming out as a result. And also because I've been reading more and more into this spark and flare stuff. <clears throat> and the more I'm reading into it, the more I notice that people are, are kind of looking for a loop to get more XRP, to get themselves a better position or whatever. You know, and what I personally think is spark is the easiest way to get yourself free XRP if you wanted to. All right. That's one part. But there's of course the other side, which is like well, the spark is going to be given to people who already hold XRP. And since all those guys, theoretically speaking, want more XRP, you're kind of not doing anything, right? Because people are going to be selling their spark for XRP to people who want XRP for spark. So you're just selling it to yourself, sort of, because, I mean, everybody wants the same type of thing. So even if people are buying spark, the ultimate goal for most is going to be to get themselves either dollars or XRP in the end. And basically what I've been reading here is just a lot of these stable coin talks or, or oh, this is a different one, things of clearing up about what spark really does. So here was Martin Falk. He said, I believe that a lot of people don't understand spark and F XRP. Spark tokens get you free XRP. I like XRP, so I'm claiming my Spark tokens. I've created a PNG explaining my understanding of Spark tokens and FXRP. Please correct me if any of this stuff is incorrect. And here it says how Spark tokens actually work and why you should become a Bob and earn free XRP with your Spark. So uh, you can you can kind of scroll through this one for yourself here for a split second. And I personally have noticed it's pretty damn strange, you know, the whole system. But here is an example. In this example, Alice needs 200 F XRP. The price of XRP and Spark would be whatever humans decide it's worth. But for this example, I'm going to be assuming the following prices. XRP a dollar, Spark 10 cents. Alice wants 200 F XRP. 5,000 Spark tokens are locked up. Alice sends 200.2 XRP to Bob. 200 F XRP are issued and sent to the address on Flare. Bob has earned 0.2 XRP. Y5000, Alice wants 200 F XRP. 200 F XRP is 200 XRP. 200 XRP is $200. Collateral needed is 2.5 times the value of X, uh, F XRP. 2.5 times 200 is $500. Spark is worth 10 cents. So that would mean 5,000 Spark tokens. And then Y200.2. Well, 200 XRP plus 0.1 creation fee, 0.1 times, of course, the 200 means 0.2 XRP. Uh, 200 plus 0.2 is 200.2 XRP. That's basically how it's going to be rolling around. And I saw a lot of questions surrounding this. Again, you can check it out in this little uh, PNG or sheet that he made here to give you some more insight as to how it all works. Again, I can't correct him for if it's wrong or something like that because I am not a Spark expert by far. Because I personally said, I'm just doing this as a money grab. I don't care about Spark too much because I think the team gets too much. But all right. Having said that, let's take a little bit of a look at my retirement plan. Which again, I need a place to share this with y'all. So where should I do it? Should I just send it over in my Discord? Because a lot of people have requested it. Or maybe like drop. No, I think maybe it's going to be Discord. If you guys want it, let me know in the comments down below. I'm just kind of sad because I've never really finished it. And I don't want to give you guys something that's unfinished. So let me know. Well, in here, I've explained to you guys how much XRP you're going to be needing and exactly what type of what type of calculations you should be doing. I also have made a Google um, Sheets where you can calculate all the numbers. But if you watched any of my videos before, you know it's very simple to calculate. It's all just simple stuff. Uh, but let's go through this first and I'll explain to you guys how to do that. So 
four points. First of all, your retirement or kind of your end XRP goal. Like how much money do you want to have in the end? If you have, you need to have a determined goal. Like you need to know some some nominal value. Like they say in Think and Grow Rich from Napoleon Hill. Again, kind of kind of think about that money all the time. You know, have a definitive goal. Otherwise, it's going to be very vague and you're never really done or happy or things like that. Two, your XRP price prediction. You're going to need a certain price. You know, I mean. If you don't know what the XRP price is going to get to, you have no estimate or nothing like that. It's going to be a little bit difficult unless you know your retirement goals and the amount of XRP you'll be able to have. Because then you can do the calculating. You know, then you can do the calculating in the end. Um, same goes for the amount of XRP. You can also, if you know the retirement goal you have and you know the price you're going to get to, you can also calculate it that way, right? You can then go on with a little bit of a small calculation. Maybe at the end of the video, I'll showcase you guys the sheet so you guys can quickly use that as well. But I know if I pause my recording, it's going to be just a jet. My MacBook is going to turn the jets on and it's going to be... <laughs> I don't know how to replicate it, but it's just really, really bad. And I, I, would, I would rather, you know, omit it if I could. But let's go on. So here's a couple of things. It says here how much money you're going to need to retire. You can kind of skip those because if your ultimate goal is to retire with XRP, you need to go from at least $1 million plus. But it could also be that that's not your real goal. Maybe you just want a big car with XRP. You know, you just want $100,000 or something like that. It might also be the case. Then put in your XRP price prediction. And now comes a very important step. Since you know some XRP price prediction and goal, you got to also determine a couple of intermediaries or intermediates or whatever. What that means is you got to determine for yourself a couple of different prices which look juicy to you and at which you'll cash out. Yes, I'm not joking, at which you will cash out. And the main reason I'm saying that is because I recommend all people to cash some XRP out if we get to some crazy numbers and that will ultimately help towards your end goal. Uh, doesn't have to, it's also maybe just for assurance because if you really have an end goal of $50 and you're waiting for $50 to get hit and all of a sudden we go to $49.99 and it switches back down and just goes you know, to become worthless or something like that, you have no money still. So you've been in XRP for so long, all of a sudden you have a $10 million balance on paper or on a computer and the next day you're just completely broke still because you never cash something out. You never have money in your pocket and in your hand or assets or things like that. So that's why I'm always saying cash out at some places. Then again, consider your amount of XRP. Another one you can do there is like use this little table here, but then kind of conversely or the other way around where you're just doing like buy in price. Uh, so you know exactly at what point you're buying and you know your average price. The reason your average price is quite important and it's something that I would really write down like daily or, or have a sheet for, uh, that's, that's the easiest way, is so you know exactly when you're in profit and, and how the market is working for you. Because in my opinion, it's very important to know when you're profitable because at this point, I would say a lot of people that are in HTTP are not profitable. They're, they're like in losses right now. They're hating themselves. And they're pulling their hairs. But I am and a lot of other guys I've spoken to are in profit. And that makes your life so much simpler because it's always like, man, let's see where it's going to go now. And hey, if I buy some more, I'll still be in profit because my, my average price is going to go up a little bit, but it's still going to be under the price where we're at right now. And I've told people before, if you want to get it yourself a little bit of a solid position, make sure your average price is at least below 50 cents. Again, not financial advice, my own pure opinion from me too as an individual too. Maybe you, uh, from an entertainment point of view, I'm gonna be careful what I say a little bit. I, I would recommend to always get under 50 cents. Better is to get under 30 cents. And right now we got another drawback of like 20% or so since, since 30 cents. I mean, it's fallen like, you know, I don't know how much it is exactly, like let's say 18% or something like that. So it's pretty damn simple to get a little bit of a discount right now and to get your average price lower. How you do that, of course, is by DCAing, so buying your way down. And yeah, ultimately, this is the thing you're going to be looking at, the quantity and the price, and it's ultimately going to decide how much you're going to need. There's no steady amount because everybody has different goals. And there's still another thing which is very important. Do you want to cash out? Or do you want to live in a world where XRP is the main asset? Again, that's going to determine how much you need. If your goal is to buy everything, purchase everything, and so in XRP alone, you're most likely going to need a lot more. If your goal is to just go to US dollars and live a happy life that way, I think you get away with a lot less because it's going to be less volatile. And of course, what, what is obvious is that if all of a sudden XRP goes down 20% that day, 
you don't want to spend money, right? So you got to make sure that you at least have some aside for some, some like normal expenses, which you don't want to buy your days down, which you still have to pay though. Because that's, I think, an issue that's always going to remain there, that even though XRP can be used to purchase anything, hopefully in the future, you're still going to always have to watch out for when exactly you're going to be buying it. Because nobody wants to buy something that's um, when, when your own asset has just gone down like 20 or so percent. That's just awful. But yeah, let me let me quickly pop up the sheet here so you guys can see it as well. All right, so I managed to grab the sheet here and this is what it looks like. And basically what it says here is there's a couple of things to fill in. For example, if you want to know the amount of money you're going to need to retire, you got to put in for yourself here the amount of XRP you're going to get to. For example, 10,000 with the price you predict, which is, for example, $4. Bam, going to end up with 40,000. Another one, if you know the amount of XRP or you're uh, questioning what type of XRP you're going to need, you put in the retirement amount that you want to get to, for example, uh, 400,000 or just amount of money you're going to need. Put in the price you think it's going to get to, for example, $11.66. Uh, I need to do it with a comma. Boom, you're going to need yourself 34,305 XRP. And so you can kind of go on, you know, you can easily see how much you need. Retirement money, XRP will determine your price. For example, if you know you want to retire with a million and you have 33,000 XRP, XRP needs to go to $30 to get to your point, which basically solves the problem of how much are you going to need. I would say, check out what your goal is. If you want to have a million and XRP is going to go to $20, well, just type it into a calculator like this. These are the easy formulas at the left top. Check them out and I'll see you guys again in another crypto video, everybody.